Hi students, now moving on to the second part of module 6, representation and description. So, we have an image. There is a flower in that image. Okay, so it is filled here. Okay, it is also filled here. What is the result of segmentation of this image? Segmentation gives the shape of the object. So, is there any way to represent the shape so that it require only less memory to represent it? So, this representation and description gives or tells us some methods about describing the shape and representing it. Okay. This representation uh, can be of two types. One is based on external characteristics. External characteristics. And second one is based on internal characteristics. Internal characteristics. External characteristics means based on the boundary. And internal characteristics means pixels. Okay, this internal characteristics based segmentation is used when primary focus is on regional properties such as color and text. In that case, we take the pixels. Okay, whereas in external characteristics, the more focus is on the shape. So, we are taking boundary. Now, moving on to the first method that is chain code so chain code is used to represent a boundary it is used to represent a boundary so external using a connected sequence of straight line segments so these are some straight line segments and each direction has got a number so this representation okay this representation based on line segments depends on four directional or eight directional that is we already know about the four connectivity and eight connectivity okay so this choosing this depends on four connectivity or eight connectivity of the segments okay and we have a numbering numbering scheme for each direction so we what we do is we acquire digital image and they are processed in a grid format. See this. We have some boundary. And they are processed in a grid format. This grid format um, may not be equal to the pixel. Okay. Um, and we approximate the shape. We approximate the shape to the shape of the grid. Okay. This is the result of approximation. Maybe this shape... Uh, we will approximate to this point okay um see depending upon the algorithm we are using uh, we can take okay so in the resultant figure they are not taking this so we can take it here so we are approximating to the shape as given in the output here different different algorithms may give a different approximation okay now we will choose this one so here Here is the, the same approximation. So, we are approximating uh, to the nearest nearest point. Okay. So, here uh, this point, these two points. Okay. This point they are avoiding. So, let me drop it. Okay. Now, so... In the grid like pattern we approximate the shape okay now depending upon whether it, we are following four directional chain code or eight directional chain code we are giving a number for each grid okay now what to do next so it, the chain code we can be generated by following a boundary in a clockwise direction 
so follow a clockwise direction so by following a clockwise direction okay put an arrow here now okay here is the way okay now see this here uh, we can connect like this now um, throughout this image you connect to get the shape now if it is a directional chain code okay we can follow this numbering okay this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so this is 0 here it is 7 depending upon that number okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay give an arrow also when it is easy so down 6 6 6 6 6 now here okay 4 then the shape 5 then uh, 3 3 then up 2 then 1 uh, then up 2 1 then up it is 2 now how to get the resultant chain code there is a starting point okay depending upon the starting point uh, we can write the chain code so what is if this is taken if this is the starting point if this is the starting point the resulting chain code is 0 7 6 6 6 6 5 6 then 4 5 3 3 2 1 2 1 2 so instead of representing uh, this shape using a pixel we can easily say the shape this is the shape here is the chain code representation of this segmented result of the image chain code representation okay so this is an example of a directional chain code for example if you have a square okay and if this is the starting point okay if this is a grid what can we say okay if okay i am not drawing grid okay this comes okay so 0 3 2 1 so what is the chain called 0 3 2 1 so this is very simple uh, boundary representation of using chain code four directional chain code and a directional chain code so that's all about chain code and thank you for listening